Hey guys, today's class is all about the penguin bobsled game. Help the little penguin get across the street without getting hit by the bobsleds. Use the up, down, left and right arrow keys to control the penguin. So let's start with the penguin sprite and code. Add a new backdrop by hovering on the backdrop icon and click on paint. Set the fill color to color 59, saturation 60, brightness 100. Draw a blue rectangle at the top, just like this. Create a new sprite by clicking the sprite icon located next to the backdrop icon. This will open a choose a sprite window. Click on the penguin 2. Next, click the code tab and add these blocks to the code area. Explanation of the code. When the green flag is pressed, we do the following. Set rotation style to left, right. We only want the penguin to face right or left. Go to 0, minus 160, which is at the bottom middle of the screen. Then we enter repeat until loop, which uses the touching color block as its condition. The repeat until loop keeps the penguin moving until it touches the blue color, the blue rectangle at the top of the screen. Make sure that the touching color block is set to the same field color, color 59, saturation 60, and brightness 100, as the rectangle. If the penguin makes it across, we move it at a final 20 steps and have it say, Woohoo! To the right side, we have our when key press blocks to control the direction of the penguin. This should be familiar to you by now. Bobsled, Sprites and Code Create a new sprite by clicking the sprite icon located next to the backdrop icon. This will open a choose a sprite window. Click on the penguin 2, same as above. Next, click the costume tab. Select the third costume and draw a bobsled using the brush tool. If you forgot how to use this tool, visit down the river course. Your sled should look like this. Next, click the code tab and add these blocks to the code area. Explanation of the code. When the green flag key is pressed, we do the following. Set rotation style to left, right. We only want the bobsled to face right or left. Then we enter a repeat until loop, which uses the touching block as its condition. The repeat until loop keeps the bobsled moving until it touches the penguin. We have the if on edge bounce block, which means if the bobsled touches the edge, then bounce, turn around. If the penguin hits the sled, say game over and stop all scripts. Now we need to add three more bobsled sprites. Instead of creating a new sprite and writing code for each sprite one by one, there is a faster way. Anytime you want to make multiple sprites that are similar, you can just duplicate the sprite. Let's do that for the bobsled sprites. Right-click on the bobsled sprite and select Duplicate. Repeat this two more times. In total, you should have four bobsled sprites. You will notice that the code for each sprite was also duplicated. Here is the finished game. And there you have it. All done. Have fun and don't get run over.